All right, here's the thing. In today's video, I want to show you some artists that use technology, and I want you to consider how each of the artists incorporates technology into their artwork. We'll start with Young Jake. I've shown him before as part of pop culture, I believe. Anyway, he's a Los Angeles-based artist, and one of the things he's known for is making these portraits. But when you look at it, you're just like, oh, it's a face. I get it. That's kind of cool. But then when you get a little closer, you see, oh, uh, it's something weird about it. There's something going on there. And then when you get a little closer, you see, hey, it's not really a face. It's like little icons and stuff like that. And then you realize that's not icons at all it's like emojis and what he does is he makes these portraits out of emojis and they're like really cool like check out this one of David Bowie here when you look at it you think oh it's David Bowie but when you look up close it's like little rabbits and stuff like how does he do that it must take forever to like paste all these little emojis on there and then some real skill to make it look like a portrait and then he prints them out pretty big here he is in like a studio where you can see his artwork so how does he incorporate technology well, pretty simple he's using emojis and that's definitely technology so there you go all right here's another artist right here um, and she, Erica Simmons, is uh, uses tape. Well, it's cassette tapes. Well, listen, this is how we used to listen to music. Back in the day, we had these things called cassette tapes, like this right here. And inside it, the little tape there is what all the music would be on. But she can't really listen to music anymore So on the cassette tapes because it's old technology. So what she does is she makes art out of them. So she just uses it to create the lines and the forms and everything. And it's pretty cool. Sometimes she lays it down flat like here. And sometimes she drapes it so it's standing up. And it's just old technology. And that's how she incorporates it. Well, here's someone who uses some newer technology. I guess you could pronounce it uh, Petra Courtright, and she is a web artist, and she makes all her web, her art on the web, like this crazy web page right here, and it just starts scrolling, and there's arrows, and arrows go on and on and on, and like this is her web art. And here's another example of her web art here. This page incorporates some videos and snow, and it's just like how she makes her art, and it's just using technology, modern technology, YouTube, and HTML, and coding, and things like that, and it's kind of fun to watch some of her stuff. So, that's how she uses technology as a web artist. Hey, you could learn some HTML. I bet you on the computer art page in the Artist South B, there might even be a tutorial there on how to learn HTML. All right, we're going to move right along here. This is Nick Genty, and what he does is uses old technology also, and the old technology he uses are called, let's show you a picture there, a floppy disk. Now, a floppy disk is crazy. Computers used to have to run programs and save information on a floppy disk. This is all before thumb drives and things like that. So you had to take this square disk and stick it into the computer. Computers don't even have holes for floppy disks anymore, but they used to. So I guess he was like, I don't have anything else to do with these floppy disks. I might as well draw on them. And so that's what he does. He uses the floppy disk as a canvas. Now, last artist, Tony Osler, he's using technology such as film and projection and video and sound to make these crazy looking heads and weird cut in half things and then you can just go in the room and have this pillow thing like talk to you and all kinds of stuff so let me show you one of his artworks right here oh I've got it lined up hold on I can do this there we go yay with all my heart deeper than the ocean so it's kind of creepy deeper than anyway the that's Tony Osler. Now, back to your theme. Higher than the How are you going to use technology to create art? So go ahead, do it, because that's the thing. 